In the next few hours, Pope Francis will wrap up his public schedule in New York City and prepare for the short trip to Philadelphia and the World Meeting of Families. It's been a packed day of events for the 78-year-old pontiff. Chris Poloni is in New York with the details on what the Pope is doing now. Hi there, Evie. The Pope has covered a lot of ground in Manhattan today, attending events essentially from one end of the island to the other. It's been a short but memorable trip, both for Pope Francis and for the people who have come out to see him. In the midst of a chaotic whirlwind visit to New York City, some moments of quiet reflection for Pope Francis. A midday visit to the city's most hallowed ground, the September 11th Memorial in Lower Manhattan, a spot the pontiff specifically wanted to visit during his time here. He prayed and met with families of those who died in the nation's most devastating terrorist attack, speaking solemnly about what happened here 14 years ago and its significance to the world. Where thousands of lives were taken in a senseless act of violence and destruction. You can feel the pain here. While the memorial represents pain and sadness to many, Pope Francis said family members of those lost symbolize the other face of the attack, the face of the power of love and of remembrance. A memory that does not leave us empty on behalf of so many loved ones. The Pope began the day at the United Nations, urging world leaders to work for peace and iterating his call to action to address global warming. Any harm done to the environment, therefore, is harm to humanity. As all this went on, final preparations were underway across the city for the Pope's last New York events, a public procession through Central Park and a mass at Madison Square Garden, a full day which will leave a lasting impression on thousands who came out to see him. The Pope spends one more night in New York City before heading to Philadelphia first thing in the morning. It'll be one last chance for New Yorkers to see the leader of the world's Roman Catholics. In New York City, Chris Pallone, News 4 San Antonio.